Hello there and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to start off like normal and conceal our eyelids with some concealer and we're going to use this also to prime our eyelids for the eyeshadow and I'm going to blend it out with a Real Techniques Beauty Sponge which I have been loving by the way. It's actually really good and super comparable to the Beauty Blender and it's a great price. So we're going to start off with Foxy, which is the lightest shade in the palette, and we're going to use that to set our concealer and really as a primer shadow for the rest of our shadows. And we're going to use Tease, which is like a grayish, purpley tone, and we're going to use that to kind of map out our look for today. It's going to be the first colors that's going to start deepening, deepening up the crease, and we got to make sure it's nice and blended and that it's to the darkness that we want. And once that's all set and ready to go, I'm gonna go in with another brush and take Snake Bite, which is a little darker. And we're gonna start deepening up the crease and you're gonna really start to tell how the look is gonna turn out. And we're just going to deepen it up, not so high as we went with T's. We're gonna keep it a little lower but we're going to put it in the outer corner and in the crease. And then with a flat shader brush, we're gonna use Chopper. We're gonna put that right in the middle of the lid and we're gonna use some Max Fix Plus to really make that shadow stick out a little more and make it a little more metallic and just visible. So with the glycerin in it, it really helps bring out the shadow. And then we're going to use some Half Baked, which is the gold shade in the palette. We're going to put that in the inner corner and just make it a nice ombre effect on our eyelids. And then I'm going to take black out in the outer corner and just darken it up a little more. And for some reason, my camera stopped recording and I don't have the rest of the look, but I didn't do much after that. I just finished off blending that out and added some liner. And now with MAC Face and Body and Makeup Forever Face and Body, I'm going to mix these two shades together to create my perfect foundation shade. And we're just going to buff it out and blend our foundation to be as flawless as possible with the brush first. And then I'm going to take the sponge and just press it into the skin a little more and make sure that it really is flawless. And now with some concealer, we're going to conceal like normal under our eyes down the bridge of our nose, our forehead, and our chin. And once we have all that done and we officially look like a crazy person, we can use a sponge and blend it all out. I use some dabbing motions to make sure that I push it into the skin and make it look as flawless and seamless as possible. We wanna make sure that we're pushing it and not sliding it around. And now with some, uh, what is this? With some Laura Mercier, Trans, not translucent, secret binding powder, sorry. We're gonna set all of that in place. And I'm gonna contour with Hula Bronzer, and this is the NARS Eda brush, and I also lost the clip that I contoured my forehead, but I did do that, so make sure you contour the hollows of your cheek, your forehead, and your jawline. And now with some MAC Gentle Blush, we're going to add some color to our face, and then we're going to highlight with Becca's Opal Highlighter, and we're gonna do the tops of our cheekbones, the bridge of our nose, our cupid's bow, and then we're gonna go in with some Fabby lipstick from MAC, and top off and finish our look. And we are all done. Okie dokie, well, this is the finished look and I hope you like it. This is my favorite look to do when I'm using the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. It's a really nice palette that a lot of people like. There's so much hype about this palette and it really is so worth it. The quality is amazing. It doesn't have as many transition and matte colors as I wish it did, but it's still really friendly and um, usable for beginners and pros, whoever really wants to use it. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and give this video a nice thumbs up and hasta la próxima.